Father, we thank you for this evening, Lord God, that you have given to us, for bringing us in this place, in this right spot, Lord, that um, you allow us to hear and hear and hear your word, Lord God. Father, I pray that you allow your Holy Spirit to move and touch the hearts of every individual, that uh, I may become, Lord God, an empty vessel, that your words will really flow, Lord God, and gives understanding and deeper learning into the, the ears and the hearts of my brother. We praise you and we thank you in advance for the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Um, do we have foreigner in the room tonight? Praise the Lord. May the Lord be with you. Welcome. <laughs> we are all uh, expats here because we don't uh, live here. Amen. Amen. We we uh, we belong to the heavenly kingdom, the heavenly realm. Amen. Now the message of the Lord tonight is uh, the essence of being at the right spot. Being at the right spot. And can all the newcomers raise their hands? First time. Praise the Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, Lana. Seven. Amen. Si Jisrilo ni naalala ko dun Amen. I'm, I'm just telling you, mga kapatid, that you are at the right spot tonight. This church uh, believes on the triune God, the, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And everything we teach here are all based in the Bible. Amen. Uh, naririnig niyo po ako dyan sa likod? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, tonight, uh, it's a wonderful message from the Lord uh, through the life of uh, Zacchaeus. Amen. In Luke chapter 19, uh, verses 1 to 10. It's a story of the life of Zacchaeus. Now, uh, being in the right spot, mga kapatid, is what most of us are longing for. Amen? Uh, we wanted to have the right workplace. We, we feel we, don't, we are not in the right workplace. Uh, we want to find the right workplace. Aalis tayo, magre-resign, hahanap na iba. Iba sa atin, right position, right manager, or most of the time, the right relationships. Amen? And most of the time, we are involved in a wrong relationship. Oh. <laughs> Amen? So, we, we always wanted to be on that spot. Amen? And we have been chasing this kind of spot. Now we think that, and we feel na ito yung tama, ito yung po yung uh, dapat sa buhay natin no? palagi natin chinichase yan sa buhay natin araw-araw and sa bababasa natin tonight mga kapatid God is showing to us uh, the importance, the output and you know, yung kahalagahan ng andun ka sa tamang spa okay. tanongin mo yung katabi mo are you in the rights? Amen? meaning uh, what it takes to be there and what will be the result when you are there and what will be the product or the output and, or how you should live your life moving forward. Let us um, read the story first. Um, and I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with the story. In Luke chapter 19, uh, verses 1 to 10, sabi dyan, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. Now he wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. Now when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, Come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up 
and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. Then, for the Son of Man came to sit and say, What was lost? You know what? In uh, Luke chapter 19, may flash natin yung verses 1 to 3, Sister Sarah, please. Uh, in this event, uh, Jesus was just passing through um, Jericho. Amen. Jesus entered Jericho and was just passing through. Dadaan lang po siya. Amen. Napadaan lang po si Jesus sa panahon ito. And maraming tao ang um, naintriga. And if you watch Facebook recently, uh, ang tindi ng mga influence ng mga politician ngayon. Amen? Dada, pupunta sila sa kalsada, mag, magroronda, and nagtatrabaho lang naman, pero daming tao na intriga pag nakalabas sila. Amen? And dito, si Brother Zaccheo, kasi kapatid na natin siya, eh, no? na napasama na siya sa kwento ng Diyos, no? uh, Brother Zax, or Brother Zaki. Kasi, um, Pag masyadong mahaba, minsan pangalan natin, eh, Brother Jess, pag, uh, ma, ayun, Brother Zach, pag hindi tayo mahirapan sa spelling. Now, si Brother Zach, sa time na ito, uh, parang naintriga din siya kasi, um, alam ko, for sure, he is already in uh, a spot where most of the people wanted to be. Okay? But it is in the wrong manner. Amen. Now, kung titignan natin sa verse 2, a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief collector and was wealthy. Zacchaeus in this instance, he is someone with a position and a possession. Amen? Sabihin, sabihin niyo position. Possession. Possession. Uh, malambot niyo sa possession. So, most of us here wanted to be on this kind of kind of life. Amen? So, pag sinabing meron siyang position at meron din siyang possession, actually, uh, kung may possession ka, normally may position ka. And kung may position ka, susundin yung possession. Di ba? Amen. Kaya lahat ng mga tao ngayon madalas, habol ng habol sa posisyon para makamit yung posisyon. Amen? Eh, for sure, pag sinabing chief tax collector, alimbawa sa departamento namin, meron tayong kami tinatawag na chief HR. Ibig sabihin, may nagre-report sa ilalim nun. Sa hierarchy ng, um, ng department, merong chief at saka merong mga halikores. Right? For followers. Paano itong mga reports? Mga subordinates, no? Direct reports. So, ibig sabihin, nung napadaan si Jesus si Jericho, uh, siguro sinasabi, kasi famous na siya eh. Meron siyang position, meron din siyang pera. And for sure, mga tao, uh, parang ano ba, feeling close ba? Na, Ay, si Arbab, Arbab. <laughs> uh, Arbab. Alam, kilala mo ba si Jesus? Ha? Hindi. Hindi ko kilala yun. Ayan, parating. Ayan. Eh, siyempre, ang mga tao, pag, pag sinabi yung kwento si, na kay Jesus, ang tao na nakapaligid palagi kay Jesus, sunod ng sunod. Ganun katindi yung influence ni Jesus dati. Well, sino yan? Eh, but, parang ang daming tao dyan. No? Sa kalsada nga lang, pag nagka-traffic minsan, eh, anong nangyari dyan? No? May nagka-traffic kasi, kung si Sero, anong <laughs> Uh, yung nasa kabilang lane yung ano. Eh minsan naman, may pulis naman nag-parking. Eh, ang pinangyari ko. So, napadaan si Jesus, eh, eh ano yun? No? May posisyon siya, may possession na siya eh. eh kala niya siya lang sikat sa lugar na yun. Eh sabi ng mga kasama niya, ay si Jesus, dumaan. Eh, nakita ko minsan sa Facebook, si si Isko Moreno, nagtatrabaho sa kalsada, may inuhuli sila mga boss na nag-aariklohan sa, sa kalsada. Galit na galit si Isko. Nakasunod mga, mga polis. 
Mga MTPB ba yun? MTBP? Ano ba yun? Basta yung mga nagkukulekta lang sa parking. Ang dami nakasunod kasi may posisyon siya eh. Amen? So, nung palakan-lakan siya, may mga tao din, ah, you're me, you're me, picture po, picture. Eh, nagtatrabaho. No? Ganon. Kahit, uh, uh, basta influence person, uh, pagdating doon, siguro kung nai may cellphone sa tayo, may selfie sila kay Jesus. No? Practical na bagay bang ngayon sa panahon mo ngayon, di ba? E nung time na yun, eh, ayun, may mga tao talaga nakasunod lang kasi they are waiting for the message na sinishare ng Lord. Eh, si Lord nung time na yun na napadaan lang. Amen? So, ngayon, uh, pag mga, may makita tayong mga artista, matataas na ranking na, no, ang dami talaga nakasunod yung isang, kaya, kaya tayo na intriga. Eh, siguro, kaya din na-intriga si uh, Brother Zan. Amen? Now, we want to know Jesus, however, there are two main areas that affects us from going or being in the right spot. Gusto natin makilala ang Diyos. Amen. Uh, let us continue to read. Now, uh, three, three more lessons. Sabi dyan sa three. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the story. Unang-una po dyan, mga kapatid, yung ating mga personal limitation. Amen. Gusto natin makilala ang Diyos, pero meron tayong mga limitasyon sa ating sarili. Amen. May ibang kumanta dito kanina, hindi ko na makita. Nasa likod, maliit sila eh. Ganun si Zacchaeus. No? Natatakpan. Eh si Jesus na sarap, ang daming tao. Imagine, dalawang linya lang yung kanina. Imagine, ilang linya ng tao na kasunod kay Jesus. Amen. Eh si, si, si Zacchaeus. Ah, hindi na makita. Nakikita niya lang siguro mga si puno na sa harap niya. Siyempre, eh, ang daming tao, makakapal yung tao talaga pag biruin mo, nagpakain niya sa Jesus ng limang libo. Imagine the number of people following Jesus. And here we are, no, gusto nating lumago, gusto nating matuto sa Panginoon. Unang-una, meron tayong mga personal limitations. Andyan yan. It's a very evident sa buhay ni Zacchaeus. Pangalawa, yung crowd limitations. Yung mga tao sa paligid natin or yung environmental aspect or yung mga external contributor, bakit tayo hindi nakakalapit minsan sa Panginoon. Pero I'm telling you tonight, mga kapatid, none of those should hinder us in knowing deeper ang ating buhay na Diyos. Amen? Kasi personal limitations, bakit di ka lumalago? Lahat po tayo may Bible na dito. Amen? Amen. Tapos kamay yung walang Bible. Walang Bible. Ang walang Bible, kung nahihiyak kayo, lumapit kayo kay Ati Marley. Makipag-coordinate kay Ati Marley. Kung mahihirapan pa rin kayo, libre po yan sa Play Store. Download nyo lang, type nyo lang po, Bible. Ang problema lang talaga sa atin, personal limitation, ba't di ka lumalago? Yung Bible kasi nasa mesa eh, ayaw bumukas eh. O sa cellphone natin, eh, hindi ko magano eh, no? Personal limitation, yung mga katamaran minsan. Marami tayong pwedeng gawin, kahit maliit, maliit si Zacchaeus, marami siyang, mayroon siyang na-acquire. Na Ang crowd limitations naman minsan, yung mga tao sa paligid natin. Amen? Yung, uh, or, uh, halimbawa, may or yung mga environmental aspect na parang it hinders you in um, knowing or worshiping the Lord. May I ask uh, tonight, sino dito yung nag-effort para makapunta lang dito? Amen. Si Sister Mary Lynn lang po. Sino dito yung nag-effort para lang makapunta dito? Amen. Amen. Coming here is is, is, is let's say is a victory. Kasi every day, every single day is a battle, mga kapatid. Uh, tuloy natin sa verse 4, Sister Sarah. Sabi dyan, So, he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. Mga kapatid, gumawa siya ng parahan. Pag sinabi, ay, hindi ko nakikinta. No? 
Ah, hindi ko na hindi manood na lang ako sa ano, makibalita na ako kung sino yun. Hindi, technically speaking, hindi niya kilala si Jesus. He wants to see, he wants to know who Jesus was. Actually, ang nakalagay dyan, he wants to see who Jesus was. Gusto niya lang makita. Amen? Now, gumawa po siya ng, ng paraan, mga kapatid. He made an effort. Mga kapatid, just say to your sibling, gumawa ng effort. Effort, kapatid. Kailangan po, lahat ng bagay sa pananampalataya, kailangan po ng effort. Now, kaya hindi tayo lumalago, mga kapatid, minsan. Kasi, ang problema sa atin, mga kristyano, nakafocus tayo madalas sa pain during the process. Ay, mainit. Ay, sunstorm. Hindi tayo nakatingin dun sa reward sa dulo. Yung nakapagsimbaan, napakagaan ng feeling, na ipag pray uh, nagkaroon ng refreshment. Amen? No, pag ikaw inaantok, ay, inaantok ako eh. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll give you a very solid example. Sino sa inyo dito, uh, bibigyan ko ng 100 dirhams. Tatayo dito in, let's say, 8 hours. Tatayo ka lang dito, 8 hours. 100 dirhams. Tapos ka lang. Wala. 8 hours kapagod kaya yun. No? Yun yung statement. 8 hours, ay nakakapagod yun. Bakit? Sandaan lang. I'm, 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 I'm rephrasing the statement. Sino sa inyo dito? Tatayo dito, the same thing, 8 hours pa rin. Ang ibibigyan na reward after 8 hours is 100,000 dirham. Tignan mo. Ha? Bahala na. Bahala na magkasakit-sakit yung pa ako. 100,000 dirham. Ba't nag-iba? The, the, the concept or um, the mindset of ay, ang hirap nun. 8 hours ka nakatayo, nakakapagod. Ang hirap kaya nun. Ay, nun nag-iba yung reward sa dulo. Ay, bahala nung mga tayo dyan. 100,000 dirham. Oh? Minsan, ganyan yung tides actually. Ay, masakit naman ng 10%. Ang process yung tinitignan natin madalas, yung sa obedience sa Panginoon ba, yung process so yung tinitignan natin, ay, hirap niya. But when you look beyond the process, the reward of doing so, ha, floodgates of heaven shall be opened unto you. Amen? If you obey. Amen. If you are willing, Amen. you will eat from the best of the land. Amen. Yun yung promise. Hindi yung pagbibigay ng tithes, yung Pagtignan mo. Just do it, obey it, and then see the reward sa dulo. Ganun yung mga kapatid. Palakpakan mo natin sa dulo. Now, sabi dyan, so verse 4, He ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. He ran ahead. Pinano nila, nyan, hindi niya makita, no? Ang daming tao. Eh, ang, ang friend ng tao pa ganun, sabi niya, ah, mga bandang doon, dadaan sila doon. Tumakbo siya ngayon papunta doon. Effort ulit. Diba? Effort ulit. At the same time, he think ahead. He run ahead. Amen? Kasi kung doon lang yung sitwasyon na yun, ah, may, may maliit ako, ang daming tao, wala talaga mangyayari sa iyo. Wala. Hindi mo naman magbago, Lord. Patangka rin mo naman ako, Lord, para makita kita, Lord. No. It's, it's, it's like, um, well, dealing yan kay Lord. But Zacchaeus, think ahead. You know, yung Friday weekly po yan. Wala pong, sa sunod na linggo, wala tayong Friday. <laughs> Yung sa horan yung monthly din yan. You think ahead. Kung wala ka mang pamasahe, you think ahead ha. May tatabi ko ito yung papasok ako sa doon card para makapagsimba ako ng Friday. You think ahead, lalo na yung may mga schedule magluto, 
may mga schedule mag uh, sila yung magpapa merienda meron po yun mga kapatid kaya kung willing kayo ay lapit kayo sa asheret natin no um sa sahod natin monthly po yan you think ahead in my salary alone kaya ako ay separate ko akong tight you think ahead amen kaya yung mga iba yung mayaman actually Uh, andun yung mga long-term, tinatawag ng long-term investment. No? Hindi nila magagamit yan, hindi nila nakukuha yan. After ng maturity pa, 8 years, 10 years, eh, pinapang matrikula sa mga anak nila. Amen. So, Zacchaeus thought ahead and then he ran. Pagka liit-liit na tao, tumakbo, chief pa siya, ha? wala ko, walang hiya-hiya. Kahit may position ako, pagdating ko doon, alam ko, makikita ko si Jesus. Pangalawa, pumanik po siya sa sycamore fig tree. Alam yung sycamore fig tree, hindi po siya yung uh, smooth or shiny na kahoy. Medyo may mga tinik-tinik yan. Kaya mahirap akyatin yan. At minsan sa atin, sa ating pagdilingkod, ah, papanik ba ako? Papanik ba ako? Papanik ba ako? Ay, hindi, may tinik eh. Ah, tinik. Ah, ah tinik, tinik. Tinik. Pinakapokus mo sa tinik. <laughs> Ibis na papanik, ah, tinik, 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 yun, no? Again, the process is painful. Eh, may pagdating nyo dito na talagang dadaan sa Jesus, eh, wala na talaga akong ibang maakyatan. Hindi man din siya pwede ngayon ito, brother, 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 paano ako sa inyo? Kasi hindi ko makita, eh, no? Ang hirap naman siguro, no? Hindi ko, nahihiya din siya. But, pagdating niya doon, may sycamore fig tree. Grabe, ang ganda na ang sabi niyan, you know, um, we can be the crowd sometimes who hinders others. There's two things actually about the crowd. We can be the crowd who hinders others from knowing God. Or, we can be the crowd who bring them, who bring Jesus to them. Na dahil sa atin, nakikilala nila ang Diyos. I hope we should be that crowd, mga kapatid. Amen? Now, ituloy natin, verse 5 and 6. When Jesus reached the spot, siguro ang ganda ng smile ni Zacchaeus ito, ang ganda ng ganda ng ganda, tumaan si Jesus sa baba. Ala, si Jesus? Jesus! No? Just imagine, it's Jesus. Just uh, telling you, Jesus. No, I, 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 maybe I will do the same. I will do the same. It's Jesus, mga kapatid. And I hope we should have that uh, kind of um, interest or excitement when Jesus is shown sa buhay natin. Amen. Dumaan si Jesus. Eh, na notice din siya. Eh. Grabe yung effort niya. Amen? Kaya palakpakan natin po yung mga uh, kapatiran natin na nag effort talaga. Amen? Yung mga nag effort pupunta na Ras al -Kaima. Kahit anong allergy pa yan, pupunta ako Ras al -Kaima. Amen? Pupunta ng Pujaira. Amen? Pupunta ng Umal Queen. Sharjah. Hachman. Abu Dhabi. Yung iba, nasa satwa na lang, pupunta ng crown, nahihirapan pa. <laughs> Let us take that as an encouragement. <laughs> Hindi limitado po yan sa, ay, may putyayra team, may rasang kayma team. No. Kung gusto nyo magpagamit sa Lord para i-reach out yung iba sa ibang emirates, do it. Now, this is where the very important part starts. Si Sakeo, gusto niya lang po makita si Jesus. But all his efforts pay off. Isn't it? Amen. Lahat po ng mga bagong dalo natin dito, all your efforts pay off, mga kapatid. Kahit kaano ka, mahalik ka po yung labas. Grabe. Meron pang blower na hangin, ang init. Kakailamos mo lang. No? No, hindi niya lang nakita si Jesus, mga kapatid. Kinausap pa siya. Basahin niya na, Sakeo, Come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Sabi ni Lord, come down immediately. 
I have a very, this is a totoo po ito mga kapatid. Sa lugar namin, sa probinsya namin, ang nyug doon, nasa mga 20 meters yung taas. Mataas na mataas ng nyug. No, never ako nakakit na ganyan kataas ng nyug. Mga katapot eh, inaakit ko yung mga dwarf na nyug. Yung mga ganyan yung taas. <laughs> yung mga matataas na nyug, ma mahirap akitin yun. Totoo to ha, no, not kidding. Um, may may binubutasan nila yan, di ba? Para ma may, 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 may itak pa yan sila. Grabe yung mga trip ng mga market niyan. So, Siyempre, eh, pag pumunta kami sa bukid namin, nagpapakuha kami ng niyog at makain ng niyog. Ganyan. Parunong na kami kumain. Nahirap, nahirap kami makikip. Pagdating sa taas, mga kapatid, alam niyo ba na may mga niyog pala na yan, may mga ahas pala yan sa taas? Hmm. Minsan may nakita ko lumipad, kumano no? papunta sa damuhan. It's the same with this uh, life of Brother Zacchaeus. What happened? Pagdating doon, nung pagganoon niya talaga sa inyo, ay lumabas ng ahas. That kind of parang adrenaline rush ba? Ito, excitement niya ito, nandiyan si Jesus eh. Totoo to ha? Nag-slide talaga siya. Ahas! Pababa. Dito niya, puno ng galos. Hindi niya naramdaman yun kasi yung adrenaline rush ba? Ahas! Pababa sa ano. Sa kapal na naramdaman nung nasa baba na siya. This is more painful actually. Nung pagsabi ng come down, immediately excited siya. Hindi niya na naramdaman yung mga tinig. Amen? Amen? Pinababa ako ng Jesus. Amen? Parang pakinggan na tayo. Pinababa ako ng Jesus. Inausap ako ng Diyos. Isi nakatawa lang siya. Yan pala si Jesus. Ah, praise the Lord. Kasi, ay, sabi yun eh. Siguro sa isin, ang cute naman ng tao yun. Kamakit pa talaga siya sa puno, no? No? Eh, now, mga kapatid, this is a very good example. The next verse is a very good example of the crowd limitation. Look at here. All the people saw this and began to matter. He has gone to be the guest of the sinner. Ayan na naman yung mga tao. Just lose po. Ayan na na po. Kumakain. Pasalanan. Tuloy mo sa verse 8. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my... Nagkaroon po ng matinding repentance sa kanyang puso. Kaya sabi ko kanina, he was in the, that position, but in a wrong manner. Kasi, dito na husgahan siya eh. Chief collector, chief tax collector, magnanakaw. Sabi pa nga dito, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. You know what? Dito nangyayari yung restitution, yung mga nangyayari sa Exodus, na pag nagnanakaw ka, pag nahuli ka, ibabalik mo yan ng doble. No? nangyari yung restitution ano ibig sabihin nung restitution restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner ang pag si Jesus pumasok sa puso mo sa bahay mo andun po yung total conviction na lahat na nagawa mo mali magre-repent ka at Lord here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor I can only imagine those people talking on verse 7 Huh? Tignan mo, oh. Huwag kumakain sa makasalanan. Eh, nagbago. Nung nakilala si Jesus, nagbago. Ay, Lord, pamimigay ko to half of my possession. Sabi na, ay, praise the Lord. Eh. Ang tindi naman pala ng, ng impact ng pagkakilala na kay Diyos. Amen? Maganda yung impact. Eh, biglang nagbago yung mindset niya nila kasi binigay ni sa Jesus yung half of his possession. Eh. Amen? Now, mga kapatid, This is the product of His effort. And I hope we will do this kind of effort every single day of our lives to become closely in relationship sa Panginoon. Verse 9 po. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house. Because this man too is a son of Abraham. Now when we do our effort sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, I believe Sister Marlene, your efforts pay off. Sister Dexy, her effort pay off. Sa tingin niya, imposible, no? Alam ko eh, nalita ko, araw-araw, walang araw na hindi lasing ni tatay niya si Sister Dexy. 
and it pays off. The moment you believe God, the moment you welcome the Lord, hindi lang po yung mga tao ang susero minsan sa buhay mo ang makikita ka ng pagbabago, but your total household will receive salvation. Kaya yan po yung panghawakan natin. Sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, no, mga workers, amen, at sa mga magiging workers ng church, all your efforts in the coming time, it will really pay off. Amen? Amen. Mga kapatid, huwag tayo makontento sa yan, pupunta tayo dito ng Friday. Amen? Ah. Praise the Lord for that effort. But the next day, do some effort in prayer, in reading the Word of God, in, in service sa Panginoon, and along the way, you add more effort. Amen? Sabi ng Lord, make every effort to add to your faith. And it will boil down into love. Mga kapatid, gumawa na lang po tayo ng parahan. Kasi marami tayong dahilan minsan kung ayaw natin. And um, the, the main point here is during on the process mga kapatid, look at the rewards on the end. Again, when we, we started, uh, Bishop said, we are from heaven. We do not belong to this earth. We will return to heaven. Now, the rich welcome later is in heaven. Kung napuyat ka man sa Panginoon, napagod ka man, pag uwi mo, natulog ka, pag ising mo, you continue to do it. You have your relationship with the Lord. And tingin mo, it seems nothing is happening, no? Eventually, your effort will pay off. Gano man kahirap yan, mga kapatid, gano man katinik yung proseso. Pagpanik natin, pagbaba natin, I'm just telling you, here in JSDC, in the church, you are doing the right thing. You are in the right spot. And we can, we can only do, what we can only do is to encourage each one of you. Amen? And kung sa sarili mo mga kapatid, tingin mo, hindi mo na kaya, do your best uh, to meet and experience Jesus every single day. Amen. Just like Zacchaeus, no? he might be short, but gumawa siya ng paraan. May mga tao man, but gumawa siya ng paraan. And the reward? Nothing compares. Nothing compares to the rewards of those who love the Lord and those who are obedient sa Panginoon. But sometimes you don't see it yet. When you plant, mga kapatid, tomorrow po hindi pa mamumungaya. Amen? But the moment you plant, believe our teaching earlier in Fujera is there is power in believing and there is power in your tongue. Just believe on it. Have faith on it that everything that you do for the Lord will happen. The message of God will not return to Him empty, but will accomplish the purpose for which He has sent it. Now this is the message of the Lord tonight to the life of Brother Zacchaeus. And I hope we are blessed. Amen. Let us bow down our head. Father, we... Thank you for the life of Zacchaeus for God, which was shared to us and allow us to be an encouragement to Father, just like Zacchaeus, help us to give more effort in the ministry, to give more our time, our strength, our soul, and our hearts for God in service. Lord, develop our relationship with you. And just like Zacchaeus, allow us to have this joy of seeing you, Lord God, experiencing you, talking to you, Lord. And whatever uh, darkness or uncleanness sa mga puso namin, Lord God, we ask for, for forgiveness and allow us, Lord God, to be restored in you completely. Father, we praise you for tonight.
thank you for this message and we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen